It's like, like a potato bag. I like how the potato tastes. Mm. I don't mm. know if I want the bread on top, on top of yeah. it. Yeah. I guess in my mind, whenever you have buns, you have to put some meat inside. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> don't get it right. I can't have a good time tonight. Relaxing and wine. Sipping on some good wine tonight. We know one bad mind. Hi, Kagwe. What's up, Sheila? How are you? I'm good. How You're are you? looking good, as usual. Thank you. Stop it. <laughs> this is just this whole thing, you know. Like everyone's crush out there. Just what? How does it feel? And their moms. And their moms. And their moms. Yeah. And their grandmas. And their grandmas, yeah. How does it feel? Yeah, is Mr. Still like... Your Grandma. That's what they call me. What? Mr. Still Your Grandma. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to stay <laughs> mine. <laughs> then I'll believe it. How does it feel to be you? You know, it's... Uh, it's pretty amazing actually yeah. yeah you know i just i just wake up in the morning I'm you're like, not even wow. being humble or anything I mean, I, i'm the most humble person mm -hmm. first of all mm -hmm. if there was a competition about who's humble i would probably win because no, you really? know yeah i mean okay. i'm the best at being humble even Obviously. that wasn't humble <laughs> at all but okay <laughs> So we are on a table. We are. Yeah. That's true. So what do you bring to the table? Well, I mm -hmm. think I think I'm a I think I'm a pretty fun guy. Mm -hmm. Um I think that uh I'm a creative person and so whatever my interactions are going to be on the table, then it's probably gonna be really creative. Yeah. I have other things. I'm trying to really filter. My head is really going in the worst places. <laughs> I'm really trying to be a good no, person. No, you can't say anything. I know. I know. And you know what else I bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't so, know? Yeah. You know. No. You know. No. You know. Because now you're going to make people think. She knows. <laughs> I never knew Thank you were a rapper. Well, like, I, you do everything. I, I try to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I also found out the other day that you are a producer. Yeah. That yeah. you produced Nishike. I did. Wow. Yeah. And I think I'm seeing a trend in the kind, the kinds of songs that you do, wow. you make, produce. <laughs> I think I'm seeing a trend because like Nishike, uh -huh. Fancy. Mm -hmm. What inspires you? Um, babes. I'm all about babes. I'm just, you know, super about babes. Just wake up, babes. Go to sleep, babes. And, you know, um, no, I'm joking. I don't know. I'm inspired by many things. Right? Yeah. Babes is one of them, for sure. For um, sure. <laughs> but also just like the things that we, I guess, consume as Kenyans and as people who live in the world in the age of the internet and everything else that's happening. And so, yeah, I write about life, my yeah. experiences, other people's experiences. Um, so my last album had like quite a few uh, songs that were like targeted at different things. So like mm -hmm. one of them was about like mental health, another one was just like about our society. Mm -hmm. But then we also have like songs about cheating and like... What inspired the one about cheating? Well, it was mainly how people, you know, when, you know when somebody cheats and then they say, I'm sorry, it was a mistake, yeah. right? Like you accidentally could cheat on somebody. Which is I crazy. Yeah, I you don't can't think that's accidentally a cheat on somebody. Because cheating is such a long process for it to be a mistake, you yeah, know? You have to actually think about it of, and yeah. then act on it and then it happens, right? Yeah. And so, like, you never actually, hear Actually, I think you're the first guy who's made a song about that yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. So because yeah, the others are like, don't let me get caught yeah. cheating. <laughs> I'm like, Thanks, thanks for looking out for women. Yeah. You're about babes for well, sure. Exactly. Well, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm still, I'm still a dude. I mean, the song, the lyrics were like, okay, I cheated, but it was unintentional. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I take what I said back then. What's the best date you've been on? My best dates are with my my girlfriends, yeah. which is unfortunate. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Sweet. 
So did you see how this is supposed to be eaten? You pour the liquid into the thing and yeah. shove it in your mouth. Sea potato puri. Say again? Sea potato puri. Okay. Looks great. Smells amazing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> what do you want to try first? <clears throat> I think... Let's let's go for this guy. Okay. Yeah. Up one there, and then you just pour the liquids, both of them, right? Yeah. One after just the other. Just a little. Okay. Mm. Cool. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. It's like an explosion. Mm -hmm. mm. It really is. What do you want to go for next? Yes. Okay. 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 I'm just going to go straight to the mouth. One bite. Yeah. I think we can do this. Yeah. I think we can. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm. <laughs> mm. I like it. Do you have food on my beard? Food gets on my beard all the time. Yeah. I do? You have a bit on this side, no? I think this we're gonna need one. a romantic moment. <laughs> I'm going to. Already, on yeah. the first day. Mm -hmm. You can put in the sparks and things <laughs> in, in post over here. <laughs> the romantic music the romantic in the music. background. Dahi <laughs> vada. Oh. Yeah. It's like a pancake. Mixi vale esta palu. Mmm. Looks like mshikaki. <laughs> Huh? Mushitaki. Looks like a nice sauce over here. You actually food? I love it. Like Indian is even one of my favorite cuisines just because of that. Yeah? Yeah, the spice. Right. Mm. It's nice, I like the sauce too. <clears throat> it tastes like chicken mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. mm. Is this not the best date you've been on? <laughs> Dates. <laughs> You're winning. I feel like I'm on Gordon Ramsay's <laughs> shows, just reviewing foods. I feel the um, the spice coming. <laughs> feel I feel spice? it coming through. I feel it coming through. Yeah, from this one or from this? From this. Do you like pancakes? Mm, a lot. I make great pancakes actually. You know you're advertising yourself I'm, and you'll just make me come I'm visit just, I'm you. I'm saying you have to. Okay. Yeah. Really, when I guess I'm leaving in the mornings, <laughs> I make the pancakes. <laughs> Your overnight guests. <laughs> yeah, I have sleepovers all the time. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's important. What kind of sleepovers? It's just sleepovers with activities. Sometimes there's pajamas. Some people forget their pajamas and they have to wear these pajamas that I have. That says Kago was here on the back, like on my ass. So it's like printed. Kago was here. And then over here, it's Kago's favorite. They're really cute, actually. They come in many colors. Mm -hmm. um, pink is the most popular one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I bit into it and I tasted Nyeri. Nyeri? Yeah. Are you from Nyeri? I'm from Nyeri. It's more flavorful. Mm -hmm. No offense. <laughs> I do think that Kikuyu food is the most boring food though. Yeah. Just water. Oh. Mm. It's like a burger. Yeah. Yeah. So you take all your, all your dates like yeah. out like this? You treat yeah. them like this? Yeah. Wow. When you're still single. Imagine. That's wild. <laughs> Not good enough, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what people want. You're maybe choosing some very dumb guys. Yeah, but that's my type, by the way. Dumb guys. Dumb guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It's like, like a potato bag. I like how the potato tastes. Mm. I don't know if I want the bread on top. On top of yeah. it. Yeah. I guess in my mind, whenever you have buns, you have to put some meat inside. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> it's burger. <laughs> As a Kikuyu, I will tell you that that waru is slapping. For the next round, I'm going to ask you quick fire questions. Okay. What do you think is your greatest feature? My personality. Mm, that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says my heart, my personality. Or well, maybe there's a like part of my body that I call my personality. Mm. Mm. You didn't, maybe you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I have a huge personality. It's like a very huge one. Yeah. Mm. What's your favorite song that you've done? Honestly, I think my latest song is my favorite song. Yeah. It's called Mbogi Madenge. Mm -hmm. And it's with Benzema. Mm -hmm. So and they're two kings of, you know, personality. <laughs> <laughs> Me, meet in a song. Wow, well, oh. yeah. Yeah. Give us a sneak peek. Kagwe, generally wa madenge. Drip piko sharp kama wembe. Heta, misi jalishi na wewe. Chain chain, tabidi unipende manyege. Niki spit tu kigenge. Niko rada kam super na kibenge. Shika mawa either kam kam niku jenge. Mini classic, filipili na maembe. That's impressive. Thank you. You can do everything. You have a big personality. You sing, you rap, you cook. I'm a catch. I'm a catch. I'm, I'm really the whole package. Yeah. You really are. Yeah. Who's your dream collab? I would definitely love to do something with Drake. Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. have a similar vibe. I feel like we'd make like really fire music together. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we could make a whole album or at least an EP. <laughs> Our first song will probably be called Personality. Yeah. Look at that. It just happened. Man. And you know what? They had it here first. Yep. You yeah. Know? So, You're like, how did this song happened? get started? Mm -hmm. Like, well, sitting with Sheila and started and talking just about came up with the idea. Just, you know, making the thing. I mean, and like, beat. Sheila really inspired me. Yeah. yeah. She was like the root of the song. In fact, yeah. we flew her out to, you know, Miami when we're recording with Drake. It's exactly how the story is going to go. Yeah. yeah. Manifesting. Yeah. You believe amen. in manifesting? Amen, amen. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. What would your ex say about you? <laughs> oh, I think great things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm like 80% <laughs> sure. If there was anything, like he works too hard, he cares too much, he's just like too good in bed. Bathing. He's still really clean. He's gonna say bathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oops, bed. Sorry. Oh my god, Sheila. This I'm is sorry, I'm I'm sorry. Not, hey, I my went a bit too, too far. far. Calm down, okay? Oops. Calm down. I have a girlfriend. I have a boyfriend. Okay. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you too. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Great. What's the worst thing about dating you? I honestly don't know. I don't know how. What, what would you say is the worst thing about dating you? Me? Yeah. Um, like if I really like someone, mm -hmm. I can get really possessed. Yeah. Yeah. Like jealous, crazy, possessive? Not crazy, yeah. but like a good kind. What's, what's a good kind? <laughs> <laughs> I would actually say the worst thing about dating me maybe in all honesty it's difficult to date like in the public eye sometimes yeah. Yeah. i'm a very private person so mm -hmm. i don't usually like hmm. post my love life like that but um is that maybe a red flag that i'm a private person why there's someone in the public eye yeah. meaning you get a lot of attention yeah. Is, at the same time they also think you're available when you're not and then you just tell them that you're not Say, like, I have a girlfriend, right? So, like, try and shoot your shots. I really like you, Kagwe. Excuse me. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Okay. I don't, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm not interested. I have a girlfriend. I have. I can change your mind, Kagwe. I Kagui. have a girlfriend. Kagui, I can I change your mind. She Woman doesn't crazy. deserve Excuse you. Excuse me. I have a girlfriend. She doesn't hey, deserve you, Kagwe. Hey, hey, hey. I have a girlfriend. I and I love her. And she's, she's amazing. She's the best. You have to distance yourself, you have to be firm. Be like, hey, 
have a girlfriend. Are we doing body shots? Hmm? Are we doing body shots? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think this was searching <laughs> for that. There's no bad searching for body shots. So, as you can see, we have shots of water on the table. And we're going to, <laughs> and we're going to play a game of Never Have I Ever. Mm -hmm. So you know how it works. If you have, mm -hmm. you drink. Never Have I Ever hit on someone else's girl. Stay toxic kings. It was somebody from a popular group in Kenya. I'd always kind of felt like this guy has mother off for me, and I don't know why. Never had any beef or anything, but like this individual kept treating me like we had beef. And I told myself, one day I'm gonna steal your babe. And one day I saw him and his friends, and they were together, and he had a babe. So I went and I stole his babe. And yeah, you know, I had to teach him a lesson. I think he learned. He started being nice. <laughs> Never have I ever gone on a date. With a fun. Really going to get me. Can, I, can, I, can I also now start saying, can I ask you? You can ask Can I make me. the things as well? Oh, yeah, come. you can ask me. Sheila is trying to get me drunk, you guys. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, Sheila. Okay. Have you seen the TikTok thing about how to take shots? No. So you take a deep breath in, and then you exhale. And you excel after. And you don't you barely Does taste it. Make, it's better. Yeah. Never have I ever gotten blackout drunk. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Never have I ever mm -hmm. gone viral. Why why? <laughs> Okay, before we take the shots, tell, why don't you tell me what, what was happening? Felt. Yeah, the first time. So I made a video about um, when a guy who's ghosted me for six months tells me to come over. Mm -hmm. Then like I dress up quickly and leave. <laughs> then it was some gospel song that's like... I'm going there. Nobody can stop me. Ooh, I'm going there. Don't you want to go to? I'm going there. Nobody can stop me. I'm on my way. I'm going there. Did your life change instantly? It didn't change, but I liked that many people related. Like, yeah. yeah. I like making relatable things. I like that too. Yeah. I like that about your content as well. Mm. I've gone viral for a few things sometimes. Mm. Um, some of them good, some of them not so good. It's, it can be like overwhelming sometimes, you know? You just like, your phone is buzzy. When it went, the bad one, there was, there was like some people that were trying to like ruin some business deals that had been going on and partners that had been working with. Yeah. For me, I think at the time, I had a boyfriend, right? I'd go somewhere with him, mm -hmm. and people <laughs> people were disappointed I had a boyfriend because most of my content was about just men, like, yeah. treating me really badly, yeah. and they're like, so you've been lying to us yeah. this whole time. This whole time, you're in a happy, committed relationship. You want to try that TikTok thing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, so yeah. you exhale, and then... Wait, exhale first. First you inhale, okay. right, take a deep breath. Then you exhale, so we're not gonna take it, and then you take the shot, and then you exhale again. Don't inhale no. between when you pass that. That first inhale is the only time you inhale. So it's exhale, break, exhale. Exhale, break, exhale. Yeah. You're terrible at this. No, I still taste the guess. Yeah, you, you just because you were like really swallowing it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> like 
I just took it down like that. Like yeah. Was, never have I ever been in love with my best friend. Nope. I've, I've had like people that I like went on like a date with like one become like a really good friend. Um, but yeah, never been like in love with a best friend. Mm. Yeah. Have you? I don't know how to say because most of my relationships start out as friendships. Mm-hmm. So like a long term friendship mm-hmm. then it turns into a relationship. So maybe. So that's definitely yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's like all your relationships then. Yeah. Yeah, you've been in love with your best friends. That counts. Got a drink. It doesn't. It count. does. It does. It does. Okay. Cheers. Are you taking a... I am. <laughs> I like it. You like it? That's the capture. I'm very shy, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, very. That's the first thing everyone says. Like, even people who meet me, they're like, why are you shy? Yeah. And you make content. Some people tell me that about myself, too. Mm. You're shy, eh? You're not shy? Mm. Ah, you're not shy? Come in. <laughs> Never have I ever been with a close friend's previous partner. Nope. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you looked at that shot like you might have. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does this count? <laughs> does this count? Uh-huh. You start seeing someone, mm-hmm. then after you guys have been seeing each other for some time, mm-hmm. you find out they were with your friend. Not like you purposefully went for your friend's ex, yeah. but you found out later. I get you. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever kissed a girl. Mm. <laughs> it was on the cheek. She knows it was it. This is our last shot. This is our last shot. <laughs> You really savor the shorts. I do. Yeah. I savor everything. I really enjoyed this. Me too. You've gone for many interviews. Mm-hmm. Is this like your best? Mm. We tried. Men deserve nothing. No. I really enjoyed the food and the drinks and of course your company. It felt like a date actually. It was yeah. a great date. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Any last words for our viewers? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Made it all the way through. Put it the sound. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Don't kill the vibe. Burn bad energy. Burn it us. Who that free of your money up? Don't kill the vibe. We think